everyone. So let's uh, start with some kind of bias point analysis circuit. Right? So let's consider very basic circuit. So I have a battery here. It's a 15 volt battery. And this is connected to a two resistors. And then uh, uh, this end is connected to my voltage reference that is ground. So that we know this is zero volts. And the resistors, so let me label them R1 and R2. So uh, let's say the value of R1 is uh, 5K and R2 is uh, 10 kilo ohms. So if you consider our output from here, is our V out. So uh, uh, just considering this as a potential divider, we know that this V out voltage should be equal to 15 volts into uh, 10K, the 10 kilo ohm, so I'll put ohm symbol there. So 10K divided by 10 kilo ohm plus five kilo ohms. So these uh, will get canceled out. So ultimately what you are getting is it should be with 15 over 10, so with basically 10 volts. Right? Uh, so now uh, we know the pot potential drop across this resistor is 10 volts. And also knowing the resistance, we can calculate current through this one because this is open circuit, no current flows through this one. All current flow has to go to this one so that this current, if we label this as I, we can find I as the potential drop that is 10 volts divided by 10 kilo. So this is the uh, current in amperes. Uh, similarly, since we know uh, the current through the resistor and uh, potential drop across the resistor, we can calculate our power dissipation from this resistor that is P equals Vi, right? So we can do all those calculations. So today, uh, let's uh, take a look at this analysis. So all this analysis is what we call a bias point analysis. So uh, what we do is, is a, it's a static case. We measure uh, different uh, voltages across the different devices, power dissipation from those devices and current through devices in a static case. So let's try to simulate this one using OCAD zoo. Uh, so what I'm going to open is capture system. Uh, that is uh, OCAD is a full suit. It comes with a lot of tools. So from that, I'm going to use this particular tool called capture system. So when you use capture sys, first thing is you need to start with the project. So I'm going to start new project. So although I have shortcuts here, so I will go there and select file new project. And then here I can put a name for my project. So I will put uh, some name. This is the uh, one. Right. So since we need to do the simulation, this is important. At this point, we need to select uh, P-SPICE analog omics AD. So if you select any of the others, you will not be able to do the simulation. And then you can find the location to save your files. And I'll save uh, my project uh, in this folder. Right? So all the files that I create, they will be saved in this particular folder. So click OK. So that uh, uh, the next question is asking whether we need to create a design based on existing one or blank one. So it's a blank project. So I'm going to start a blank project. Right. Now, uh, let me give you a rough idea about what we have here. So this area, the white area over here, uh, what we call the working area. So you can consider this as your breadboard. Then uh, on your right, you have a set of tools. So we will be using different tools to construct the circuit. And then uh, 
here you have like a general toolbox and then you have you can see like uh, different type of probes and things like that so we will be using that so first of all what we need to do is to start drawing the schematic so i will put resistor right so in order to do that first thing that you need to do is to select part so that is this tool you can use this tool this tool is called place part and you can see the shortcut that is p so if i press p uh, i will be forwarded to this particular location now remember that in ocad it's a large suit it comes with different software application so that uh, since we yeah, need to do the simulation what we use is p spice simulator so therefore the libraries that we are adding we need to make sure that those are p spice libraries so i'm going to add libraries here uh, so uh, this button is called add libraries so now you, you can see i don't have any libraries here so i can add libraries here and then if you look at this carefully you can see uh, i'm actually redirected to the spice installation so in my case it is c cadence uh, uh, and that is version tool capture sys libraries inside that p spice so you need to make sure that you go inside the p spice libraries because there will be other libraries which does not have p spice simulation file that is simulation model right so it's a mathematical model that does not come with that model so the every libraries inside p spice folder it's guaranteed that they have library so what i will do is i will press control a to select all and i'll open it so now i have all the libraries loaded over here so it's coming so uh, since the all the libraries are selected i can select any of the component from here so since it is resistor i can use uh, if you want you can type it but if you just put r it's coming here r analog so <coughs> that is the resistor coming from a library called analog library so this is very basic component available here uh, so that is what we need to do so you can do uh, uh, you can press enter or select this component and then uh, when you go to the working area you can see that your mouse pointer slightly change right so when you move here and there you can see your mouse pointer is attached to a kind of resistor and as you click it is placing resistor If you want to go back to original location, you can change this to the other tool, or you can use escape. Right. So what I will do is I will select all, control O and delete it. So I'm again R is there, this one is there. I'm going to use that. Now uh, this time I'm going uh, to do a slightly different thing. So I need to rotate it clockwise. Right. So when you press R key, it will rotate your resistor. So I'm placing one of my resistors, and then I'm going to place. my second resistor right so you can see that automatically the numbers so one resistor is r1 and second one is r2 so numbers automatically been changed okay so i have two resistors now i want dc voltage supply so that is uh, in spice you can find vdc so when you use a vdc it's a dc source basically you can see the circuit symbol it's a battery so i'm going to place it here so that that is my dc source so then uh, we need to run wires across this one right so uh, so let's run wires first uh, maybe i can zoom it in it will be so uh, i will use this tool and i'll zoom this region so that you have better view so uh, to do wiring uh, you have a, a tool called place wire and the shortcut is w place part is p this wire is w so i'm going to use the shortcut when i uh, press w i will get the uh, tool so i'm going to do the wiring so i click it here and then my ending point so now wire is not there again i click here go there i click here we will go a little bit here and tilt it bend it and put it there okay so now i have some kind of completed circuit but the resistor values and the voltage values those are not correct so then i'm going to change the tool again to the mouse tool so you can click escape right so just double click here you can change the value so i'm going to change this to 5k 
and then uh, this one I want to change it to 10k. So that was the value that we used. Right. So, so I have 5k resistor and 10k resistor, and the voltage should be 15 volts. So I want to put 15. So VDC, so that's the basically the way that it is written. So I have 15 voltage source, 5k and resistors. Now you, you might notice that there's something missing. Whenever you have any uh, component, uh, like a voltage source, there's no any meaning because that uh, 15 volts is the potential difference between minus terminal and plus terminal. So therefore, if you want to do any simulation, you need to have a reference. That is our ground, right? So ground, you can place it from here. So there is a, a tool called place ground. Uh, the shortcut is G. Uh, so there you have like different types of ground. So I'm going to use this uh, zero volt ground. So the reference, it's a ground and reference voltage is zero. So it's guaranteed. Right? So I'll place it here. Then I'm going to change my tool again to wiring tool, W. And I wire it here. Now I have everything that I want. So uh, I have voltage source and everything what I want is here. Now, uh, uh, there are like uh, different probes. If I want, I can put these probes to see. Uh, even if I don't have probe, there is a way to take a look at things. Uh, right. As of now, what I have is just a circuit diagram, uh, the schematic diagram. And then what I want to do is to uh, add a simulation uh, profile. So that we can do with this tool. This is called new simulation profile. So when I click it, it's ask a name, right? So I'll put resistor network one. You can put any name there. Uh, uh, so that once I do that, I'm getting this dialog box. So this dialog box is pretty complex one, but when you look at the analysis, that is basically default selection one, you can select different types of analysis uh, from this menu. Uh, so basically uh, this OCAD suit, uh, P5 supports four different types of analysis. So here we are going to use bias point analysis. That is the basic type of analysis that you can do. And there you can see different options, uh, uh, temperature C, uh, save bias point, load bias point. There are different options. So I'm going to do the very minimal things that we need to do. We will just change this to bias point analysis and click OK. Right. So our system is ready to do a bias point analysis. And in order to run the simulation, I need to do this run piece by button that I need to click. So when I click it, you can see the simulation is running. And uh, so it takes a bit of time to do that depending on the performance of your uh, computer. And after doing that, you might see that there's another window came up. Right? For this bias point analysis, actually there's no meaning of this window. So I will uh, basically minimize this window. And let me show you now what I, what I can do. So. I have done the bias point analysis simulation properly, and then I can enable these switches. So these are like voltage, current, and uh, power dissipation. So uh, so once I enable this, you can see different things. So this carefully. So this says throughout this conductor, potential is 15 volt with respect to this one. And this one, if you take it here, potential in this conductor, that is, 10 volt, so that is what we know, right? And uh, we can find the current through this one is uh, 1 milliampere. So that is what we have done with calculation. And when you do uh, P equals VI, you can see the uh, power dissipation from all these devices. And here you can see uh, the nice uh, notation, the, the power dissipation from the device. The voltages are in the conductors and current is from one terminal of the device, right? And here you can see minus 15 millivolt power dissipation. So that idea is that this ideal uh, cell or the battery produce 15 millivolts of uh, power that, uh, uh, that power is being dissipated from this R1 and 
uh, to resist them. Okay. So that is a very basic uh, introduction to bias point analysis in these spices.